everyone so in this video we are going to learn about the manual testing interview questions and answer for the below questions questions are first one is what is software testing second one is what are the objective of software testing third one is difference between verification and validation fourth one is difference between functional and non-functional testing fifth one is difference between manual and automation testing sixth one is what is bug defect error and failure and last one is what is the difference between qa and qc so let's start with the first question first question is what is software testing so software testing is a method to check if the actual software product matches expected requirement and it to ensure that it is defect free by using both manual and automation testing techniques also we can say that software testing is used to identify errors gaps or missing requirements in comparison to the actual requirements it ensures that the software is reliable functional and delivers a high quality user experience so let's move for the question next question is what are the objectives of software testing so below is the list of the all the objective first is identify defects and bugs second is ensure software quality third one is validate functionality fourth one is verify compliance with requirements fifth one is improve performance sixth one is enhance security seventh one is ensure usability eighth one is prevent regression ninth one is provide confidence to stakeholders 10th one is reduce risk 11th is ensure compatibility 12th one is validate installation and deployment 13th is optimize resource utilization and last one is facilitate continuous improvement so these are the objectives of software testing so let's move for the another question another question is what is the difference between verification and validation so let's see first verification means verification helps in identifying defects early before coding or testing begins verific also we can say that verifications means are we building the product right next is validation validation ensures the final software works correctly and satisfy users also we can say that validation means are we building the right product let's understand verification and validation by using the example let's take the example of whatsapp status feature first is verification Verif in the verification we will do reviewing the requirements documents to confirm that statuses should disappear after 24 hours second is inspecting the database design to verify how statuses are stored and deleted third one is ensuring privacy settings are correctly implemented in code so this is all about verification in the validation we will do few things first is posting a status and verifying that it disappears after 24 hours second is testing if user can control who sees their status updates third one is checking if views are correctly counted and displayed so this is the difference with example for the verification and validation let's move for what is the difference between functional and non-functional testing so functional testing focuses on ensure the software works correctly as per requirement and non-functional testing focuses on ensures the software perform well under different conditions functional testing purpose is ensure the software work as expected as per requirements and non-functional testing purposes ensure quality aspects like speed security and usability functional testing examples are like uh, login user registration payment processing and non-functional testing examples are load testing security testing ui responsiveness 
then functional testing tools used are selenium qtp test complete non functional testing tools used jmeter and load runner functional testing types are unit testing integration testing system testing and acceptance testing non functional testing types are performance testing load testing stress testing usability testing security testing and compatibility testing so this is the difference between functional testing and non functional testing let's move to the another question what is the difference between manual testing and automation testing so manual testing is performed by human testers automation testing is performed using automation tool manual testing speed is slow automation testing speed is fast manual testing accuracy is low because it may occurs human errors automation testing accuracy is high manual testing cost is low but expensive over time automation testing cost is high in initial investment cost effective long terms so manual testing is best for exploratory testing usability testing ad hoc testing and automation testing is best for regression load testing performance testing manual testing flexibility easy to modify test cases automation testing flexibility requires updating test script we should have to update the test code manual testing time time consuming because here we have to perform the all task manually in the automation testing saves time for repetitive tasks because here our automation script will run the code manual testing tools use is no tools required but for the automation testing we uses tools like selenium jmeter test ng apm and many more so this is the difference between manual and automation testing let's go for the another question what is a bug defects errors and failure so first we will see the bug a fail a fault in a software that causes it to be unexpectedly let's understand the bug in detail it is an issue in a code that's needs fixing this is the issue may be uh, created by the developers next is defect a deviation from expected behavior or requirements here tester will be involved a defect can be caused by a bug or a poor design when testers are doing testing while testing they find the deviation in the actual and expected result then that we are calling it as defect then third one is error a human mistake made during coding or designing that leads to incorrect result it's a mistake in logic or a process during development so last one is failure when the software does not perform as expected or meets the specified requirement so a failure occurs when the bug or defect impact the software functionality so this is nothing but a failure let's move for the what is the difference between qa and Q, qc QA is nothing but a quality assurance and QC is nothing but a quality control so QA focuses on preventing defects QC focuses on identifying defects QA goal is ensuring process quality QC goal is ensuring product quality QA approach proactive and QC approach is reactive QA perform throughout development QC after deployment on the final product QA examples process audits reviews training QC examples are testing inspection and validation in simple words we can easily understand that QA preventing preventing defects through process improvement and QC detecting and fixing defects in the final product 
so this is all about the difference between qa and qc so in the next video also we are going to learn about the few more interview questions and answers for that please subscribe my channel if you like this video please like and do comment in the comment section thank you